Hey, Guy Fox here. Take our review of Philip Rivers Football Outsiders card. Um, I got him cammed up with Go Deep all the way. So throwing power gets up to 92. Normally it's 89 stock. Deep accuracy up to 90, which does hit the threshold. One of the rare cards so far this year that does. Uh, the speed at 60. So he's a statue. He's a immobile quarterback carrying at 48. Um, he's going to basically sit in the pocket, not scramble a lot. Or so you think. He had okay mobility. I actually like the mobility out of this Rivers cards a little, River card a little bit better than um, I, I would have like Big Ben. So I, I don't think he's going to like, you know, scramble for a lot of yards for you, but he can get out. He can move slightly slide to side. Um, obviously moves in the pocket pretty well, uh, but he's not going like, to, you know, he's not going to Vic around there. But overall making the plays, yeah, he'll do it. The only issue is his like lower than like ideal arm strength is 92 kind of like the borderline right now. Maybe with, with how good, I mean, obviously you can still see him make a lot of these passes. You can still strike him down the field easily, but like not having elite arm strength in the game, you know, like it kind of shows if, if you get somebody who could uh, throw a 95 uh, throw power or 96 and then a 92, it's like whatever. And, and even with his high accuracy stat, so he supposedly hits every single threshold, uh, but he still misses passes for me, whether it's under pressure, which I haven't really, he was great under pressure, 95 throw, throw under pressure, uh, but it just seems like even short, uh, like low passes, high point passes, he still misses them. So there's, I think there's like a modifier for accuracy threshold. See right that? He took a hit right after letting that go. Didn't even show under pressure. Under pressure didn't even light up and that was just a strike. So I, I think the 95 throw, uh, throw under pressure definitely shows up for the card. And that's something I like. Like if you like statues, you want to know that their cold steely demeanor uh, will, will uh, fall through. So and his definitely does. He will be able to strike him down the field just like that. So while while the throw power may give you a little bit of issue on beaters, I don't run a ton of beaters this year because, you know, sometimes I get picked and I got a few picked today even um, on some beaters. I think that wasn't, I wasn't using River when I got beat, but I, I used somebody with a little bit higher power. Well, I think I used Goff with 93. But anyways, back to the accuracy. Um, so while I feel he can hit every pass, like you really need to be able to modify your throws, right? You need to throw them high, you need to throw them low, especially at the goal line. Right here, roll out to the left. That one showed under pressure for some reason, uh, but it was still a strike, so that one didn't really matter. I think it's because he was free running at him, even though he didn't get hit, still uh, beautiful. So with the 93 throw power, good, great traits there. Uh, QB style pocket, throw tight spiral, no, which is unfortunate. Sense pressure, ideal, uh, and clutch, no, which which is too bad. Too bad no clutch on the Mr. Rivers. But overall, I like the card. Um, is he game-changing? No, he's still a statue in the pocket. He isn't as good as Vic or McNabb, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I'd probably put him, you know, borderline top six, seven card in the game. But get it, Rivers. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, so out of 10, I'm going to give him an 8.6. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.